In this video, we'll take a look at selecting text and formatting text. Formatting text in Microsoft Word is very easy to do. In the ribbon on the Home tab, in the Font group, we have all of the necessary functionality to change the look and feel of our text. One of the biggest efficiency gains that we can get in using Microsoft Word is learning how to select text efficiently. So let's talk about the different mechanisms we can use to select text. The easiest and most intuitive, I think, is to left click, hold down the left mouse button, and scroll over the text that we want. So if we want everything except for information technology in this paragraph, left click, hold down the left click mouse button until we have all of the, select, the text that we want to select highlighted. And then we can go into the font group and change some aspects of our text. So, uh, one thing about the ribbon that's nice is if you hold your mouse over one of the buttons in the ribbon, it gives you this screen tip. And a screen tip tells you the name of the button. It tells you a shortcut. So in this example, we can underline text. There's a shortcut, and we can activate the shortcut by holding down the control key and clicking the U button. And then it gives us the description of what it'll do. Underline the selected text. Also in Word 2010 in the ribbon, you'll notice that sometimes it's a button, it's also a drop down menu. So in this case, we can just click the underline button and it'll underline all of the text that we have highlighted. Or we can click the drop down menu and change the style of the underline. So if we wanted a, a dotted underline, we can click dotted underline and now we have a dotted underline on all of the text that we had highlighted. So first mechanism to highlight text, left click and scroll over the text. Next, we can highlight a single line of text. So instead of left clicking and scrolling over this text, we can quickly do that by moving our cursor to the left of the line until it becomes a pointer and then left click one time. And you'll notice that this highlights a single line of text. Once we highlight that single line of text, you can go back up and change the formatting. So maybe we want to, we want to make it a superscript. We can also highlight an individual sentence. So from the beginning of the sentence, so take this, the information technology covers many fields. If we want to highlight that individual sentence, we can do so by holding down the control key on our keyboard and clicking on the sentence. Now it highlights everything from the beginning of the sentence to the period. Hold down the control key and click one time over the sentence. Next we can highlight a paragraph. And a paragraph in Microsoft Word is, is not really the definition of a paragraph in English in our in our uh, language classes. It's more uh, a more technical, more simplified version. It's any text until we've pressed the enter or return key. So if we went into the middle of this paragraph and we hit the enter key, now we've created a new paragraph. So this is now a paragraph in Microsoft Word because it ends with the return key. We can highlight an entire paragraph in Microsoft Word simply by triple clicking. So click three times real fast and it'll highlight the entire paragraph. We can do the same thing by again scrolling our mouse to the left until it becomes a pointer and then double click. So a quick way to uh, highlight, you know, in, to format an individual paragraph and we can go up and change maybe some, add some uh, text highlighting color to make the text look like it was marked by a highlighter pen. <clears throat> Next we can highlight a large block of continuous or, or contiguous text, meaning uh, the text that we want to highlight is, is right, you know, is in line from start to finish. So if we want to highlight from this word down to this word, for instance, what we can do is place our cursor, place the insertion point, 
at the beginning of where we want to make our selection and then without holding down the button scroll our cursor to the end of where we want to make the selection now hold down the shift key this time and left click one time at the end of where we want to make a selection now we have a, a large contiguous body of text highlighted with two clicks right we click at the beginning of where we would like to highlight click at the end of where we would like to highlight and we have a large body of text highlighted much easier in some cases than scrolling particularly when we have a, a multi page document so we can highlight all these paragraphs by clicking at the end scrolling up holding down the shift key and left clicking so we want to highlight two or three pages that's a very easy way to do it we can also highlight non-consecutive or non-contiguous words or areas of text on our document that's very easy to do to do that all we need to do is hold down the control key and then we're going to use all of the other selection techniques that we talked about so for instance if we want to select information technology we want to select information technology in this paragraph again we're going to we're going to highlight the text by left clicking and scrolling over now hold down the control key and highlight other areas of text and you can use all of the different techniques that we talked about so double click for a word triple click for a paragraph and this is tricky because I already had some text highlighted but triple click for a paragraph again double click for a word or left click and scroll over some text and now we have several areas of non-consecutive or non-contiguous text highlighted and let's go into our, our font group in the ribbon and this time we'll change the font color so we'll click the drop down arrow and we can change it to any color here maybe a dark orange and now we've changed text throughout the page non-consecutive text but it was much more efficient than selecting a word changing the color selecting another word changing the color <clears throat> Additionally, we can select the entire document, and that's very easy to do. Again, we can scroll our cursor to the left of the text until it becomes a pointer, and triple click this time. So instead of one or one, two, we're going to one, two, three very quickly to triple click. That selects all of the text on our document. We can accomplish the same thing by holding down the control key and pressing A. We'll highlight all of the text on our document. Now something you may have noticed as we've been going through highlighting text on the document is that when we do that, a uh, little menu appears right above where we've selected. And it's not, when it first appears, it's not totally opaque, but you can tell that it's there. Now if you highlight some text and continue on your way, that uh, toolbar disappears. We call that the mini toolbar. And again, that's Microsoft trying to present functionality on the screen when we need it. So if you highlight some text, use any of the mechanisms that we've talked about. I'll left click and scroll over these words. And now instead of going on my way, I'm going to roll my cursor up and to the right, just up and to the right of our selection. And now I've activated the mini toolbar. It becomes totally opaque now, so we can see it on the screen. And notice that it has common functions for changing uh, the font. So here we can change the, the font of text. Something I love about newer versions of Microsoft Word is as you're scrolling through the list of fonts, it actually changes it on the screen. So it makes it very easy to choose a font because we can see instantaneously how it's going to look on the page or on the document. So we can scroll through these and choose a font that we like and click it to change the font. You can also type it right into that box if you know the name of the, of the font that you want to change to. <coughs> we can change the font size of text. <coughs> 
So the font is measured in points and we can go ahead and change the point size. We can also use these buttons to change the font size so we can grow the font or shrink the font very easily. We can change some paragraph settings so we can increase the indent of the paragraph or decrease the indent. Again, some common font properties. We can bold the font, italicize, or underline. We can center the paragraph. We have that text highlighting option for the text that we have selected. We can change the font color. And we can use the format painter so we can uh, change other areas of font uh, to the to the same all the same font selections that we have in the currently selected font. So uh, it, it becomes you become much more efficient in Word as you learn these different mechanisms to select text throughout your document, uh, and it's very easy to to apply. Uh, formatting changes to the font that we have highlighted using both the font group in the home tab of our ribbon and also the, the mini toolbar which appears as we highlight text, which I think Microsoft has done a, a pretty clever job of presenting tools that we need on the screen when we need them as we select text. Thanks.